It's time to get your risk on. Hello everybody, thank you for watching my video. My name is Digitalic and I'm a Grandmaster Ranked Online Risk Player. And for you today, I have episode number 32 of my Grandmaster Rank Up series. Whoa, I almost didn't forget, I forgot to ready up. Where we take, <clears throat> excuse me, my man, Ranking McUpton as far up the FFA leaderboard as we can. Oh no, by playing in other people's lobbies and various game, various settings in the game. Today we're playing Classic Fix with Blizzards and Portals. I am going first, and I am the white player. <clears throat> Look at blue start in North America. Look at the... <coughs> hmm. And look at this. I'm completely trapped in over here with all this material. I have to start moving this material over. I cannot be trapped in. And I'm going to have to roll a 5v2 to get out of it. Whoa, what is all this? Did I put troops there? No, I didn't. Well, let's start moving this material out. Let's accept our alliance requests. Oh, blue's a bot. Shoot. Okay, because now we're, <laughs> we're supposed to play a six-player game, but now it's a four-player game with two bots. Um, let's hope that bot doesn't punch me uh, in North America. It is probably is. It's probably going to, though. Uh, but I kind of rushed to get my troops out of there. So anyway, um, I actually have had some feedback on my videos lately, and this is something that I've kind of come up with on my own, uh, that some viewers uh, prefer that I don't play on stream for one for my YouTube videos as much uh, because I get distracted by the Twitch chat uh, and I'm absolutely going to do that um, so um, going forward most of my videos will be off stream just every now and then if there's a fun video that we catch on the stream I'll, I might post it to YouTube uh, but I do agree I prefer to do these videos off stream uh, and just just one thing um, I actually had pre-recorded a bunch of these episodes uh, on stream, about four or five of them, and I've decided to cancel those videos uh, because I want to I want to replace them with off-stream videos. So, Ranky McUpperton's actually now standing at 27,108 FFA points as a Grandmaster with a 53 win to 55 loss ratio, and we're on episode 32. So I'm throwing away about three or four videos, but I think I'd rather just not put on any more videos that are on that are on stream. Uh, and and uh, focus this series on um, off stream videos, so I can do, so I can give uh, commentary where I'm less distracted by the Twitch chat. Okay, so what are the settings for today's game? They are. Oh, wait, let me just fit, play my turn, and we'll go over the settings. Man, I still have material down here. I think I am going to head into North America. Okay, so settings for today's game are... Um, classic uh, World Domination, Auto Setup, 60 Second Turn Timer, Expert Automated, Expert Neutral AI. Ugh, I'm... I hate starting neutral bots. We have two neutral bots starting with us. So pretty much almost like blizzards on the board. So I'm going to have to punch through a ton of blue if I want to take North America. Um, no novices allowed. Alliances and blizzards are on, but fog is off. Portals are stable today. And I am in the first position, as I said before. Look at all this material I'm going to have to punch through if I want to take this. Maybe I set in and just just crush South America. That's so much material to hit. No, okay, no, red says no. No, you are? Okay. So in the second position, from playing as pink, we've got John from France. In the third position, we have the blue AI. In the fourth position, we have Danny Two Dicks. Uh, however, I, 
I'm not sure if Danny has two dicks. Danny could also have two ducks, or Danny could also could have uh, two docks, right? Uh, we'll never know what what two things Danny owns, but we'll just have to use our imagination. <laughs> In the fourth position, playing as purple from the United States of America, we have Juan Cobra. May as well make an alliance with them. And in the fifth, sixth, and final position, we have the black AI. So where is purple going? Purple cuts me off here from reinforcing. Okay. Okay, pink finishes Australia. <clears throat> oh, a set on three would be fantastic here. I don't get it. Because then I could just destroy red out of here. And 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 the black bot before the black bot puts in more, more material. And then I can start working my way out from South America. It's it's um an unusual board setup with this blizzard. So but this is it's an interesting it's it's interesting when this happens and it could and it can always it can go really either way here okay so red doesn't reinforce here which is surprising i really wish i had a set and i'm just not going to have enough to knock red out of there Yeah, and if red has a set now, and they punch black and out, then they punch South America here. I'm gonna have to evacuate the area. I think, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to punch this three stack as well because I want to combine these territories. Let's hope for a really good roll here. Don't usually like rolling three stacks. That's a fantastic roll. Don't you? Okay. At least uh, I know I have a set now. Let's hope that it it is a big set. Okay. But I imagine it's too late. I imagine that red's going to reinforce this position. But like. All of North and South America right now, and including almost a good chunk of Asia, is a single point hold at Greenland. Yeah, so red puts in six. Let's hope. But I imagine they're going to, if they trade here. They only put in five. Oh, please hit that. Yes. Oh, okay, look at this. Red just handed me South America. Red absolutely just handed me South America. This is perfect. Now, red can retaliate uh, with, through the portal here. But that's a risk that I'm willing to take. I mean, red had to know that I was going for this. Terrible roll.
Oof, uh-oh. Slider blitz error. So, red can retaliate and they can ruin my game here, but we'll see how it goes. Unfortunately, I got a terrible roll on that four stack. Yeah, losing six. That's never good. Even with that's crazy. I even I even slidered that. But red had to have known that I was going for South America there. If they want to hit me back, then they can hit me back. But I can't take North America and expect to red let red hold behind me here. But we will see. Red said something to me there, but I didn't see it because of the stupid phase change. And they do get the big trade. Lucky them. And they don't come out. Fantastic. Good. I think Red's a decent player. Um, maybe Red's like a ma an expert. or Red's at least expert for that. Uh, I'm going to give Red expert. I would give them master, but they should never have made that move in the first place, I think. I think it's pretty obvious what was going to happen. Now, unfortunately, I need a card. I really wish I didn't have to hit red again for a card. That's There's just nothing, nothing available. I could hit pink, but a six on three is not the greatest roll. But I really don't want to. I don't want to upset red. Let's hit. Let's roll the six on three. Now we're gonna make need to make yeah next on the next turn I'll have to hit red. So I do like this position because naturally I can't let anyone hold North America. So I don't so I don't see anyone attempting to take North America here. Um especially with 18 bots. And look, the bots aren't even taking cards. It's so stupid that they did it like this. It should have been automated bots for for people that didn't ready up. Uh, neutral if they ready up, play the game, and then bot out. Or they should just not be in the game at all. But this idea of having... the Or these territories shouldn't reinforce. They should just still be their original territory size. I could always hit pink for a card here if I wanted to. I can actually guard this from here and use the bot as, as part of my guard. Yeah, and I'll trade cards with red here. That's fine.
So what I'm going to do here, I don't have a set, so I'm just going to get a card here. Throw a fist bump at red. And then I'm going to move up to the port. This is a bot, I know they won't attack me. So I can use the bot as, as part of my guard on my continent. Pink go bad neighbor? No, they don't. I don't think red is red shot showing me any aggression after I took them out of South America. Make sure let's really hope I got a set. Good, I have a nice big set. That's fun. That's fun. <coughs> okay, and purple evacuates North America. It just really is. It's too expensive for me to hit the blue bot. Maybe in the future. And we'll just ride like this for a bit. If I take North America and South America on a one point hold right now and weaken myself by hitting uh, two bot 12 stacks, plus I'd have to hit three of purple stacks and a six stack of red, I'll be so weak that I'll just get, I'll just get hit. I'll be such a target anyway. But my position is nicely tucked away. Oh. I guess purple said something to me. Okay, red goes bad neighbor. Interesting. Because red could have just taken a card right here. That's very interesting. Pink puts out a devil's face and a fist pump. Probably just bluffing. I don't think they're going to hit red back. Purple taking a while in draft. It'd be funny if they bought it out. Maybe the bot will hit some of these blue stacks for me. Okay, no, they're still here.
hope they fortify in time. Okay, good, they do. The black bot is nicely contained here in Asia. It's funny, to, kind of funny to see that. Okay, so just get a take off purple. Oh, these aren't connected. Uh, so I'll just connect them. I don't really care about keeping my stack. I can hit purple if I need to anyway, right? If I was going to go around purple, I would use the portal anyway, so it's okay to block this stack in. Let's see, set on three? No. Okay, so pink does hit red back. So we do have some bad blood here. And then they guard the portal. Oh yeah, and the black bot is just extra blizzards in Asia. That's right, because it's neutral bots, of course. Okay, so red doesn't retake. Uh, red just retakes, and they don't. Um, they don't rebreak. So probably the wise thing to do. To try and make peace here. So I'll trade up here till the cows come home. But red, pink decides to keep the fight going. And they stack everything on portal. Interesting. It's very interesting. So pink. Yeah, red's an expert at best. Red might even be intermediate. I'm going to change red to intermediate. I'm going to change put pink as intermediate as well. There's no reason to keep that war going. You're not getting any value out of it. And it should it should just end now. Wait. Wait, I don't I do a set. What are you talking about? Okay. Okay, I'll take the Irkutsk, I guess. Our own Greenland. So I think if pink full sends suicide into red here, I think I'll end up getting second in this game. Like, come on. Stop breaking, red. Uh, because I'll be left to fight purple, and uh, purple is stronger than me and has more cards, so I'll probably lose the war with purple. But hey, 
I'll take second, right? Because it's a rank up account. Attack pink. No, dude, I can't. I don't want to attack pink with you, brother. Oh, shit. So, I need to participate in this, or else purple is going to suicide into me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm going to participate here. I've already knocked red out of South America. They were cool with that. I refuse to help them with pink because I think that's detrimental to forward thinking in the game. I think red should make peace with pink. And we should work on purple. We'll see how this goes. Okay, it's Red's turn to attack purple, not mine. Okay, good for pink. They're not attack not you know, keep attacking red.
Yeah, you can attack my territory. Anytime you can always attack a one stack. Don't don't ever feel that you need you need to. If a player suicides into you because you attacked one of their one stacks without asking, then they're a terrible player. So purple. Purple chills. Okay, cool. A nice big trade here. Do I want Ural or do I want uh, Yakutsk? I probably want to keep Yakutsk. Ural's right here, right? Yeah, I'm never going to hold Ural. Sixty nine stack, that's always fun. <laughs> now I was wrong. North America and South America aren't a one point hold because of the portal, right? Obviously. Um, and that's another reason why it's just not a good idea to, to make that move. It's everything in the game is telling me, don't do that. You'll never hold it and you'll weaken yourself too much. So red was able to get pink off their back by, by hitting purple. My lines, the purple is probably diminished now because of that. Let's see if purple reacts to that. Okay, purple chills. Yeah. Not gonna bother slider blitzing. Because I'm too lazy to do it. Every time, dude, you can attack my territory. Every time. Set on three? Not quite. I'm going to put purple as intermediate. Now let's go expert. I like that they have chill. Okay, I'm not going to break purple this time. I 
I need access to that portal. I'm not going to hit purple's 24 stack. Set on four, unfortunately not. Now the white player is benefiting from not participating in this war. I might chill on purple. Um, because we really need buy-in from all three players here. Let's see if purple punches red. Yeah, I'm gonna be holding five cards. <clears throat> yeah, if pink is um an intermediate, I think pink they've seen me attack purple through that portal multiple times. I think a more advanced player would would know to open that up to me. So I'm curious to see how purple handles this. Okay. 
interesting. I mean, purple's hitting... Red's hitting purple hard. Okay, cool. As long as purple's not taking Europe, then I'm not going to aggress them anymore. Whoops. Sorry about that. So I'm happy with the situation so far. Okay, white opens the portal. Pink's looking very strong. See how purple handles this. Only time will tell how this is going to work out, right? So, if purple bots, that would be interesting. Doesn't look like they're going to bot. Want to go hide? And they punch red out of Asia. They punch me out of Asia. Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. Fair enough. What haven't I guessed on yet? Red, pink, purple. That's everyone. Because the rest are bots. Because they didn't ready up. I wish this game too would let you know how many people have readied up and who hasn't readied up. So we can make it an informed decision. Because I wouldn't ready up in this game if I knew two players out of the six weren't going to ready up, right? I, I hate... This just keeps happening. I keep playing these six player games and they end up being three or four player games with massive bots.
All right, proper player sets in, gets the 10. I didn't see what Red said to me. Did not see what Red said to me. Once again, there's another feature I think the game should have. You should be able to look and see what people said to you in the last minute or so, right? Go hit, like, hit the settings and see kind of a chat log or something. Because a lot of the time, well, I miss that. A lot of the times you miss messages because you don't get to see them because the player sends them during the phase change, right? Oh, wow. Red's going for it all. Attack my territory if you need to. How am I gonna... I can't even... I can't even get to purple, bro. I'm not gonna go through... I, I can't go through the portal. I guess I can go through this portal. But you've left purple with with 50 troops. And I have to punch through, you know, six or seven of your troops. Let's see what purple does. Do they quit? <laughs> Looks like purple's quit. Okay. So purple's out. And now we have another set of blizzards. I'm surrounded by neutral bots. Now let's hope pink attacks white. I think pink will. Pink's going to attack red first anyway, right? Maybe pink's going to try and take Africa? I think this is where I, I think this is the time to Let's see how hard red hits pink.
purple and red do something. Come on, hit him, hit him. Oh shit. I'm gonna win this game. I think I need to say, I think I need to not hit pink here. Now here's the thing, if I don't hit pink, then pink doesn't fight, doesn't, doesn't punch, doesn't punch red, then I might have a problem. Yeah, attack pink. So now, if pink suicides me, So pink doesn't, I don't think they get it. Um, they're definitely not going to hold Africa. So my worry there is that if I hit pink as well, pink might be, might decide to suicide me, uh, right? And then I, then I lose or whatever. But my, but if I don't attack pink, red might turn on me, right? And suicide into me. So... But I need to, like, let's see. I need to attack pink enough that red and I stay allied. But I can't, I don't want to attack pink enough. I, I, I still want to, I don't want to attack pink too much because I want to retain my, my, my advantage in this game. Okay, what was purple back? No, okay, but they're just taking it's taking a long time for the neutral AI to draft. Leave one position of pinks there. Well, I'm hoping that pink breaks red. Good. Okay, so I'm gonna win this game if this keep as long as I don't get suicided into. Um
But we're getting close to the point. If I had a trade here, I could probably win the game. Right? No, not quite. Not quite. Unless I got a god roll, right? But we're getting close. I'm definitely going to say attack pink. Okay, so red didn't attack pink, so I'm not going to attack pink. Okay, so purple's officially offline. Let's hope pink breaks red again. Good. This is perfect. Okay, red sets. That's too bad. I didn't want red to set. Okay, well I win. Okay, or this is this is even better. Okay. Okay, so pink goes offline. So realistically, I... <laughs> yeah, victory. Realistically, it doesn't matter when I kill red. Um, because everyone... Because of neutral bottage. But I will just symbolically kill pink first, even though it doesn't really matter. Look at this, I can't even I can't even hit hit red here. But it doesn't even matter. I could kill I could kill purple too. Maybe I'll do that. Why not? It doesn't matter for the ranking, but maybe maybe red doesn't know that right so i want to at least show them good faith for being being my ally and i will i'll kill purple and then i'll kill red and look at that they don't even attack
Now they know. Yeah, because the bots now. I'll kill them next. Danny two dicks. Probably kill the black player here too, just for fun. I'm just doing this symbolically, I'm not stalling. Red's not taking cards. I'll finish it this turn. There you have it. Great game. Okay, so that was episode number 32. Uh, a win. So. Oh, shit. I have to finish the bots off? Oh my god. Well, that's stupid. I have to finish neutral bots? Come on, I didn't even know. What, are they, what, do they suddenly become automated or something? Like, like they turn into the Terminator? Man. I guess if I had known that, I would have kept... I, I thought that would end the game. I thought because the starting neutral bots don't matter. What a broken system, but hey, it is what it is. And I can't even... Re yeah, I can take a card. I hope Red understands that that they rank above the they they get the same rank points regardless of that order. And there you have it. So I said red was an intermediate, pink was an intermediate, and purple was an expert. Purple was an expert. Red was an expert. Uh, pink was a big... So purple was expert. Red red was... I had them as expert. Cross them out. So red was intermediate, not expert. And pink was a beginner, not an intermediate. So decent guesses. Let's go see where we're at. Okay, 27,787. Fantastic. So we're climbing back up again. And we should have a almost even record here yeah very close 54 wins to 55 losses okay guys thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and again i'm gonna keep the twitch videos to a minimum uh maybe you know once a week or something or maybe a little less than that you know if there's a fun viewer game anyways if you like this video do me a favor smash that like button for me it really helps me out with youtube al youtube uh, youtube algorithm uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and we can get better at this game together. Follow me on Twitch. Link is in the description coming out when I'm live. And until I see you next time, you keep fighting that good fight.